beautiful. I'd like to raise the sails again, watching for the whales again, and never have to say. I wish that I had done the things that I can't do when I'm too old to play. After one last night at our beautiful secluded anchorage, we prepared to leave Merchant Island to head for Swans Island. Cat Muriel, taking us away from our only three night anchorage. We are on our way to Swans Island where there's going to be a rather large party. So it's going to be it's going to be a real case of extremes. Kind of looking forward to it. Man, there is just a blizzard of lobster pots out here. I'm always amazed there's any lobsters left. The route to Swans Island is not without hazards like Gooseberry Ledge, parts of which are easy to see and parts not so much. It's especially intimidating to have the shallow depth alarm go off when you see something like this. That's how to come into Burnt Coat Harbor. Let me sail. That's classic, isn't it? It's beautiful. Wow, it really goes way back around in this corner. Even these highly traveled narrow channels are fair game for lobstermen. First music of the Sweet Cherry Music Festival. <laughs> it is that. Cute. This is Burnt Coat Harbor. The word burnt appears at least six times in places in Maine. There's even a burnt porcupine island. I guess they like to play with matches. We are going to have a real sea change of environment. We have been, for the last three nights, anchored over at Merchant Island in this little cove where you couldn't see anybody else. There was just coyotes and mink and seagulls. And it was Very so, peaceful. oh man, it was so nice. And where are we now? We are now in Swans Island and getting ready for the Sweet Chariot Festival. And so we will have company here and it's a really charming uh, island and a seaport. It looks like it's all lobster boats around here. So surrounded by lobster fishermen. It's very quintessentially made. Lots of yes. long pilings and buildings up on wharves and lobster boats and all that kind of hillsides, pine trees, all that going on. And there'll be some folk music happening here too. Yes, they deliver the music to you apparently. We're waiting to see this. And then we all go to a dinner and then there's parties and she's playing tomorrow and on some stage. So we've, we're going from absolute seclusion to uh, just mayhem and civilization. So well, I'm looking I forward call to it. it. Mayhem and civilization. Oh, come on, mayhem I call has it a, either really. <laughs> mayhem is a certain flavor. Of, this you is, know. Uh, you know, it's too festive to festivities. Mayhem. I think there's going to be mayhem. I'm, I'm convinced. <laughs> hey, how are you? Oh, you New York girl. Next was the concert and we set off walking toward Odd Fellows Hall and were immediately picked up by someone in the picture. Is this your first time here? Yeah. yeah. You're in for an unforgettable experience. Oh, good. Yeah. Okay. Oof. Right. Hey, Event cool. founder Doug Day led a rehearsal downstairs, and then it was showtime. Rich gives the blast for Down by the Riverside. Down by the Riverside. <laughs> Thank you. 
For some of the people in the audience, this was their first venture into social life since early 2020. We awoke to heavy fog, but talk of a lunch and gathering at Doug Day's house got us to shore. We again got a ride and loved seeing all the bucolic scenery and trappings of the lobster trade. When we got dropped off at Doug's house, I just had to stop and investigate this interesting looking land yacht. That is fun. Just a brief little history of the uh, Sweet Chariot. Yeah, Sweet yeah, Chariot started about you, 40 years ago because I saw audience getting off of schooners in Mackerel Cove, turning around and going back to Rockland and Camden. To me, as a New York actor, they were all audience. So I windsurfed out with a banjo and I sang on board. Then I invited David Dodson and we sang from the barn. Then we had a whole troop of six performers and sang in the barn. Then the little old ladies of Swan's Island had so much fun with it, they complained about the evening dew. So we moved to the Odd Fellows Hall and it escalated from there into three or four nights and packed halls and still this porch providing the uh, rehearsal space and the family fun for about 25 different acts and families. 
that is Sweet Chariot in a 40 second or minute and 20 second clip. <laughs> this is your Thank humble. You. Thank you, Doug Day. You bet. Happy to do it, Brian. Please sail back in because musicians who come on boats don't need a house. Muriel gave Anna Gret a rhythm challenge with her tune Baker's Dozen and its 13-8 time signature. To finish off, we'll leave you with Muriel playing Janice Ian's Better Times Will Come. Will come.